Okay guys, I need you to level with me. Being a vegan, and if you're a vegan, what is the number one question that you get asked? Where does your protein come from? I mean, seriously, if we can calculate how many times us vegans have been asked this question, I mean, I don't even think we can count that high. And it all stems from um, the meat and dairy industry. I mean, they spend billions of dollars um, brainwashing people to think that the only place that you can get a complete protein is from animal products. And that is just simply not true. So I'm gonna tell you a quick story. I was born and raised vegan, and that was 35 years ago when being vegan wasn't a popular trend like it is now, which I'm so excited that it is becoming more popular and that it is trendy, super trendy. But 35 years ago when I was born, it wasn't super trendy. And so the meat conundrum and protein conundrum was even more popular back then. So being born and raised vegan, um, my mom was really into health and nutrition and fitness, and so she got my sister and I into dance. So I started classically training with the Royal Academy of Dance based in London, England when I was six years old. And I uh, classically trained for over 20 years and my entire duration of being a classical ballerina, I was always considered like, mm, like a beefy dancer. I was never like lean and skinny and like tiny. <laughs> that was like, no, that's just not my body shape. Um, and I was never, I was never, ashamed of my body or I did I never disliked my body I just wasn't like the long lean classical ballerina like look and I would always get the comment that I was super muscular when I would go off to like summer schools or take master classes or anything my comment was always like you're so muscular like there's you have so much muscle but in the same breath when these people found out that I was vegan all of a sudden I had a protein deficiency and I'm like thinking to myself, like, how is this even possible? Like, I'm super muscular, but all of a sudden I have a protein deficiency. So to kind of test this protein deficiency, when I was 17 years old, I walked into a gym for the very first time in my life. I never weight lifted. I had never done any sort of like outside aerobic activity, like bike riding or running or anything like that. Like literally all my training, all my physical activity came from classical ballet. So I walked into the gym for the first time when I was 17 years old. And after a series of tests with a personal trainer, they racked up over 300 pounds on a squatting machine and I was able to squat 300 pounds, over 300 pounds, three sets of 15, super easy. Like it was nothing for me. And this personal trainer was like amazed and like totally shocked and absolutely didn't believe me that I've never walked into a gym. I never weight trained. I hadn't done anything like that. And he was just absolutely blown away. And as soon as he found out that I was vegan, all of a sudden, I needed to be put on six meals a day. I needed to eat my body weight and protein. I might have a protein deficiency. And this like always just kind of like blew my mind. I mean, it just was so blurringly obvious that I got my protein from plants and I got plenty of it. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a couple of protein myths that I wanted to help you debunk. Myth number one is that plant protein is inferior to animal protein in its ability to meet all of our nutritional needs. Now, let's look at this closely. If we look at the essential amino acid profile in the human body, it is indeed very similar to animal protein, therefore dubbed complete due to its similarities. With that said, if we look at the soybeans essential amino acid profile, it is also very similar to the human body's, therefore also dubbed as complete. Interesting? I say yes. What this means is, is that we can actually get good, balanced, healthy, nutritious protein from plants. Now, the majority of plants contain some sort of essential amino acid. So it is really vitally important that we get a huge variety of food. Now there are 80,000 plus plants and fruits and vegetables that we can consume. And most of these contain some sort of essential amino acid. And so therefore we are getting a little bit of protein every time we eat fruits and vegetables. And that is adequate for your protein intake. Myth number two is that a vegan diet cannot provide all of the protein or amino acids that we need to stay healthy. And this is just not true because if we look at vegetables, grains, legumes, nuts, seeds, they're all sources of plant protein. 
and even fruit, a little bit of fruit contains some protein. So like I said before, it is vitally important that we get a well-balanced diet. And when we do, there's a good, 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 good possibility that we will get absolutely enough protein to fulfill our dietary needs. So the next time someone asks you, where do you get your protein? You need to ask them, where does your protein get their protein? Okay guys, thanks for watching my protein myth busted. If there's any other vegan myths that you want me to bust, let me know. Leave me a comment, shoot me a message, follow me on all my social media accounts because I love connecting with you guys. I love sharing the vegan lifestyle with you guys. But share with me, I wanna hear your success stories. I wanna hear your funny stories about how people asked you about protein or anything else vegan related. So check back with me next week, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.